All right, we're going to start. I kind of already showed the covers for the Nintendo games already, but uh, we didn't really go into any details. So starting with the Nintendo, my wife and I are going to talk about the games. And starting alphabetically, we have Contra. Does this really need much explanation, but this is my wife's. Yeah, I just used to play this game with my friend all the time. We used to use the code for the extra lives, and with that it was just so much fun. We would... We got so good at it that we would play it every day and beat it straight through. <laughs> and that was great. Couldn't do that now, though. I'm so out of practice, but good times. Yeah, I, I never played this until I met her. Believe it or not, I was deprived of this. Okay, uh, this one's actually one of my Nintendo games. Always a big, a huge Godzilla fan, as you can see over there real quick on our kaiju wall on the top shelf. If you look at my Nerd Cave Nerd a Cave update video, you'll see all that. But anyway, this Godzilla game, it's, let's just face it, it's terrible, but it's Godzilla, and it's a neat little collector's item. Um, just watch Angry Video Games Nerds episode about this, and you'll see what I mean. Um, but it's just nice to have. It's cool art, too, on this. Oops. And this is one of my wife's. An original box, too. Yep, I'm a... Was a big fan of Gremlins when I was a kid growing up. I liked both movies. As a kid, I actually liked Part Two better because there were different kinds of Gremlins. And I this was a pretty good game. It wasn't that hard. I was able to beat it. And I once I learned how to do it, I beat it a few times and just took good care of it and knew it was something cool to keep. Yeah, she showed the gameplay of this to me once. It looked pretty funny. The uh, music in that game was very good. That's one thing. As soon as I popped it in, years after having played it again, that it just... I was really impressed with how the music was good on all, all the levels. Nice. Um, this is one of the few games that are mine. My wife bought me this as a surprise gift one day, a Holy Diver. Yes, because um, of all the metal references. When I found out about this game, I was like, oh gosh, we've got to have this. Yeah, I've been sent that special yes. collector's case, too. And I played it. It's, it is kind of fun. It is hard. But it's just a great little platform. There's a 30-minute video up on YouTube you can watch. Then just watch the whole thing and see what happens. <laughs> this was a surprise. Her and I were Knight Rider fans with the TV series. Oh, yes. And uh, I just saw this at a game store. And I said, wow, it's in the original box. And it's in pretty decent shape. There's just mild wear on it. But I just thought that was a neat little collector's item since we were fans of the show. We have touched. We have played it a little bit. It was kind of fun. And this is one of my wife's favorites when I met her. Oh, yes. I used to play this with a friend also, and we would try to beat this all the time. I think we got to, like, the second to the last level. I never beat the game. It was so darn hard, but it was that infuriating fun hard. You just want to keep trying and keep trying it. And it's addicting. Yeah. It would have driven me nuts. I don't think I would have liked that game very much. Mm -hmm. And this is an immaculate condition. Oh, yes. I was a big fan of Freddy, so I had to get this game. I remember when it came out, I was so excited about it. And then, unfortunately, it was such a disappointment. Very hard, very repetitive. And um, one of the things I was really disappointed with was the boss battles. You would end up, you fought Freddy's hand, and then you, like, fought... A big giant head or something, and I I thought that oh this is great. So every level I'm gonna be fighting some giant body part of him, and then you'd get to the final boss and fight a giant Freddy. In my mind, I was so sure this would happen. I can't wait. Can't well. No, it was just the same thing over and over. Suddenly the hand came back, and then the head came back, and I'm like, can't beat this game. <laughs> I think I finally did beat it with uh, Game Genie was the only way, and, it, and I, I still don't remember what happened, so it wasn't even a memorable thing. It was quite a letdown for the ending. Hmm. Makes me glad I've never played it. <laughs> but as a Freddy collector, it's, it's a nice thing to have. Right. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the Godzilla game. Yeah. Right? That's my Freddy game. Mm -hmm. And this is one that you were always talking about. Oh, this was a fun game. I never beat it either, but this is one of those things that I mentioned that my mother would never buy me the things I wanted, so I had to play this on rental. I nearly got to the end. I had finally... Once you learn how to land, and you don't kill yourself on the landing on these games, uh, it's great. So, I figured out how to land, and I was doing great. I uh, had to return it to the store, and... So, we f I finally bought it, and I, I think it's an awesome game. Love it. All right. 
And the next one is a Super C, huh? Mm -hmm. This is also one. I actually played this and beat it, but I uh, had to use codes and stuff. But uh. it It's fun. All the Contras had something really cool about them. Mm -hmm. One thing about the Contra that I'm surprised I've never heard people mention this. One of the things I loved about it was that basically you're playing against aliens and xenomorphs. And all the bosses, I mean, you had things in here that looked like face huggers and uh, the the regular aliens. And, and the or the original one, there's even this one level, the waterfall level, where you had, you fought the queen. I mean, it was the queen, come on, even though they called them different things. And that's one other reason I love this just so much. Okay. All right, moving on. Oh, yeah, this, this, did this come with your system when you got it? Or? Yeah, it did. That's why we had to get the box. And, uh... The infamous Mario, Super Mario Brothers. And since we have a retro TV, we can actually play Duck Hunt yeah, with the light gun in here. Yes, and the infuriating dog. Oh, yeah. Again, I missed all that. She introduced me to this. I, yeah. I never so deprived. It. How can you not be angry in your childhood at that dog? I mean, you need to be pissed at him. I had other game characters to be pissed about. So. <laughs> and then uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. Uh, two, the arcade game. Yeah, looking at all these games, I never realized how much time I spent playing with my friends would come over, and it was all about playing games. And the Turtles, gosh, we spent hours on this. I don't, again, I don't remember if we beat this or not. I think we did, because we just played it so much. It was just a fun thing. It was You could do a two-player, so you could have the, the two Turtles out there at once. <laughs> and, uh... Just on that, one of, one of those things I, I don't like about the modern gaming, I'm a single player person, and I think that if you're going to play with another person, you don't need to be hooked up with someone you've never met halfway around the world yelling at them. You play with someone in the same house on the same system. Here's a controller, let's, let's play, let's have fun, let's do teamwork. Right. That's how I grew up, and for me, that's why now I'm just a single-player person. Yeah, I tried the multiplayer thing. I can never get into it either. I just couldn't stand who I ended up with. Yeah, that that so that Turtles game was an excellent thing about that. Right. The uh, not-so-legal version of Tetris. Yes. I heard about them pulling this game off the shelves, and I managed to find a copy of it in a used bin that was still in great shape. The guy didn't know what he had. I got a deal on this, so I'm happy, and it's um, yeah. it's nice. It's a beautiful shape, too. Mm -hmm. And then the official, more legal version. Yeah. Everybody had this one. Yeah, this is just one of those staples yeah. for Nintendo mm -hmm. entertainment. Center. Yep. Yeah. I just wish that one of these had had the famous theme song, and that one was on the Game Boy, the song. I think the song was so such a major thing for Tetris that it, it really helped put it on the map. Uh, the only version of Tetris I ever played was on Xbox Live. It was uh, Tetris Splash. That's the only one I ever really got. Oh, yeah, into. with all the fish. It was cute. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And this was only one of three games under mine, the Three Stooges. And just because I'm a huge Three Stooges fan. This, uh, since I played Virtual Bart first on Sega Genesis, this kind of reminded me of the way you select levels. It's kind of a gamble, right? If I yes. remember correctly. Uh -huh. Same well as on Virtual Bart. Hey, yeah, but it was Mo, Larry, and Curly, so. That was fun. I had played this for a little while. I got through one of the levels. and It's actually pretty hard, but such a neat little collector's item. Well, that's the original Nintendo that she introduced me to that I completely missed because I went from Atari to Genesis. Okay, and next, that'll be the system we tackle.